Today we're jumping back into our iRay Uber shader. We're going to be going over bump maps, displacement maps, and we're going to be making this soft looking argyle sock material. So let's get right to it. So let's start off by creating a new primitive, either by clicking right here or going to create new primitive and selecting sphere. And by default, the segments is 12 and sides 24. You're going to want to put this up to at least 24 and 48 but I'm going to just accept this. And if you're not working with a model that you can add more geometry to, just select it in your scene tab and then right click where it says scene, go to edit, go to geometry and convert to sub D. And you can see it's added subdivisions in between those segments. So go into your mesh resolution and you can put this up as high as you want. But the higher you go, the more taxing it's going to be on your system. So I'm just going to leave it at two right here. Let's zoom in and let's go into our surfaces. Select our surface, go to presets, add our iRay Uber base, come back into editor. And first of all, let's add a bump map to this. I just googled free bump maps and I got this one. What this is, is the dark values are going to be indented and the lighter values are going to appear to be extruded. So let's apply this one by either finding bump map or just typing in bump. You can see it shows up right here. Hit that down arrow, go to browse and then find where you put that. And once this is applied, go into iRay mode. And again, make sure you're in interactive in your render settings and draw settings. So let's push up the bump map to 10 and see what happens. You can see that light is now interacting with the surface and it appears to have these highlights and shadows. And you can see it better if you change the color of your object. But if you look around the edge, this object is still smooth. That's because a bump map only gives the illusion of texture on your surface. So let's turn this back to white. And uh, let's take that bump map back off. Let's hit there and go to none. Now what I'm going to do in base color, I'm going to hit this down triangle, browse, and I'm going to apply this Argyle sock texture. I just Googled free fabric textures and I found this one. And what I did, I duplicated it and made another copy in grayscale with the contrast pushed up. And I'll show you what we're going to do with that one in a second. So you can see our texture is showing up, but it's not looking great. So let's go into our image editor and in instant tiling, let's put horizontal tiles to five and vertical tiles to five as well. So that looks better. Now let's go and find our displacement map. And under displacement strength, let's hit the down triangle, go to browse, and we're going to get that grayscale image. And let's boost this up to five. And once you give this a value, you're going to see these other parameters show up as well. You're going to notice this value only went up to two because this value is using limits. So let's go to parameter settings and uncheck use limits except and now we can push this up to five you can see the geometry is starting to be affected by this displacement map but only the edges of these faces are being affected so we need to put some sub d on our displacement map as well again the more sub d you put on the harder it is on your machine so I'm going to try seven and hope my machine can keep up with that. 
So you can see we are definitely starting to get a physical looking texture on our material. And we can even push this up further. Let's go up to 10. So you can really see how dramatic that is. And unlike a bump map, which is only dictating how light reflects off the surface, this is actually creating geometry to our material. But you can see that our displacement map is not lining up perfectly with our base image. That's because we need to come back in here, go to our image editor, and make sure our instance tiling matches our base image. So it was five and five. And once this updates, You can see it's looking very lifelike. It looks furry, it looks fuzzy, it looks great.